Battery deployments for EVs increased by more than 60% this year versus last year. Now, if you don't believe um, the data that I've shared here on the channel or that um, you're seeing other sources share, showing that EV sales have grown by nearly 50% this year versus last year, then maybe this can help convince you or help convince other people that you know that don't believe this information. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. So far this year, battery deployments going into EVs have well, they've risen incredibly. They're up 88%. Now, we have tracking measurements to be able to track how many battery packs go into electric cars. In January, that figure increased by 88.1%, says CNEV Post, who tracked this information. In January 2024, battery consumption for electric cars was 51.5 gigawatt hours, up 60.6% from 32.1 gigawatt hours in the same month last year. However, the biggest battery company in the world, CATL, they're also selling the cheapest batteries in the world. They installed 20.5 gigawatt hours of batteries, which was growth for them of 88.1% from 10.9 gigawatt hours in the same month last year. So you can see here, more and more electric cars, Kia's new EV5, um, CATL's, dealings with Tesla, they're installing battery packs from CATL in more and more cars. Volkswagen Group, they're using CATL batteries. They're becoming more and more common. BYD and CATL. Obviously, CATL is easily number one in the world when it comes to battery deployments. And it's worth pointing out, CATL now have a range of different, they've actually got about seven different types of battery chemistry. They have the M3P battery that they're working on with Tesla that's gonna come out within a few months this year. They obviously have the new lithium ion phosphate batteries. They have the older version of the lithium ion phosphate batteries. They have the cheer-in battery. They have the new condenser battery. They work on semi-solid state. They're working on solid state batteries with BYD. They also have their own cheer-in battery. Wow, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've missed a couple here. So I think they've got about seven different battery chemistries that they're working on that they sell to car manufacturers. There's a lot of choice today. Now, speaking of CATL, they are currently clearly leading the world in terms of battery market share with just under 40%, 39.7%. Next is BYD with 14.4%, followed by LG Energy Solutions with 11.4%. Worth pointing out that only a few years ago, LG was number one with 40% market share. So LG have fallen from 40% to 11%. And you'd think, right, LG, they are a South Korean battery company. Why is Kia now using CATL batteries in the new Kia EV5? They're cheaper, maybe better as well, possibly. A lot less fires and recalls, that's for sure. So LG 11%, Panasonic has 6%, Samsung has 4.8%, SK On has 4%, CALB 4%, Goshon High Tech 2.7%, Goshan High Tech are building a lithium ion phosphate battery factory in the United States, which will manufacture very, very high energy density LFP batteries. It's believed for Volkswagen and Tesla. S Volt, 2.2%, Eve Energy, 1.7%, and all the others make up only 9%. The thing is, though, if you put together CHL and BYD, just the two of them have nearly 65% global battery share worldwide. And when we when we consider the reality here that BYD and CHL have just teamed up to manufacture solid state batteries, that's an absolute monopoly. I don't know how anyone can possibly compete against those two, the funding they have, the resources they have, the facilities they have, the uh, battery technology uh, patents they have, the battery technology actual understanding that their chemists have, their engineers have. They're, um, you know, pretty much unstoppable. But here's my key point here. Even though CHL has increased its battery share, its battery deployments by 88%, battery deployments overall have grown by just over 60% this year, which means clearly that the numbers are not lying. It's not lying when it says EV sales have grown 50% so far this year, because they have. 
EV sales in many countries around the world are just going crazy. But keep in mind, this is just battery deployments for EVs. Battery deployments for salt, for storage projects, so for storage for energy distribution, you know, for backing up grids, for backing up solar power plants and wind power, those have actually quadrupled in the past 12 months, quadrupled, as in 400% growth. Thanks for watching.